Okay, so this is the mole and volume. Um, you should have a reference table, you should have your potentially mole map, and definitely calculator. For gases at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure, 273 Kelvin and one atmosphere pressure, one mole occupies a volume of 22.4 liters, known as the molar quantity. What volume, <coughs> excuse me, will the vo following quantities of gases occupy at STP? Technically, if it didn't say at STP, none of these would, would work because that conversion factor only works when those conditions are met for gases. Okay, so looks like we're all at moles. Oh, no, we're at grams or some. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. So units will be volume for all of them, liters. So liters through the end. Okay, liters. Here we go. One mole of H2. So to go from moles to liters, all you have to do is multiply by 22.4. So that's going to be what we do for the first five. And I'm going to round to sig figs. Uh, your teacher might not ask you to, but um, remember we did learn them. So one mole times 22.4 is going to be three sig figs. That's going to be 22.4 liters. 3.20 times 22.4. So it the calculator gives me 71.68. However, if I needed my three sig figs, that would round up to 71.7, .7, again, liters. Okay, 0 0.750 times 22.4 is 16.8, which is three sig figs. 1.75 times 22.4, 39.2, sig figs are correct. 0 0.5 times 22.4 is 11.2. However, if we needed two sig figs, that would simply be 11 liters. Leaders, 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 leaders. At STP, technically. All right, now, these last five are grams, and we need to go from grams to liters, and there's no direct route. So we need to go from grams to moles first, and then once we do that, we can go to volume. So remember to go from mass to moles, we're gonna divide by the GFM. To go from moles to volume, that's our multiplying by 22.4. So we will need our uh, reference table. Okay, H2. H is has a mass of 1, but there are two of them, so it's 2 for GFM. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 moles times 22.4. 2.5 times 22.4 equals 56 liters and my sig figs are good um, the, and so just so you know that's one times two so this is a mass of 16 and I get that by looking on periodic table times two is 32 so I'm gonna need that hundred divided by 32 and that's a hundred points that's three sig figs so I won't round to sig figs just yet this is moles of O2 multiply by the molar quantity and I get 70, but I need three sig figs, 70.0 liters. Okay, uh, diatomic nitrogen, this is 14 times two, so that's 28. 28.0 divided by 28 is one mole times 22.4, so make sure you have three sig figs, we do. Uh, CO2, this is 12, and this is 16 times 2, so that's 32 plus 12, so GFM is 44 grams per mole. So 60 divided by 44 is 1.36 repeating moles times 22.4. So I'm not touching my calculator. I have 1.36 repeating on my calculator. I just don't touch it, times 22.4. And then I need two sig figs, so... 30.54 rounded to two sig figs is 31 liters, good. And then this is 14 and this is three, but there are one, but there are three of them. So that's a GFM of 17 grams per mole. So 10 divided by 17 is 0. 0.5882 whatever moles multiplied by 22.4. 
hold on, did I do that right? 10 divided by 17, yep, times 22.4. Okay, <clears throat> we need two sig figs. So my calculator says 13.176 to two sig figs, that's simply 13 liters. Okay, if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you. Whoops, whoa.